Hey guys. So I've had a few people ask if I will do just a real quick video on donning sterile gown and gloves for particularly for central line placement, but this could work for any other sterile technique. So I thought I'd take just a quick minute and kind of show that to you guys. All right. So what I have here, gown, gloves. It's important to know any sterile procedure. You're gonna remove all rings, watches, other jewelry, sanitize your hands real good, and now we're getting ready to get started, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my gown and have it setting out to the side. And it's important to know that these gowns, like most other sterile things, are double wrapped, all right? So once I open that outer package, I have an inner package that is, again, still sterile, and I can open this out and create a sterile field to drop the gown down on. Now, I'm assuming you're back in the operating room, so I'm gonna do this with my mask off, just so that you can hear me better, but obviously if you were back in the OR, mask is on the whole time, okay? So I'm gonna open this up. There's a little tab right here. I pull that. I can pull it out to the sides. And then I have the gown opened up on the table. And I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show it to you here in just a second. All right. Next is sterile gloves. Most of the gloves that you're going to use in clinical nowadays are powder free. Uh, not all, but a lot of them are latex free as well. Um, and so what that means for you is that these gloves right out of the package can tend to be quite sticky. And by sticky, I mean they stick to themselves and they stick to the package itself. Um, and so trying to put these on without breaking sterile technique can be a little bit tricky. So one thing I usually recommend to people, as soon as you get them out of the wrapper, just take this package in your hands and crinkle it all around like that. And usually what that will do is separate it to where it's loose from the packaging material. And it'll come loose from the other glove material as well. So this is what I mean. I've got it here. And I'm just roughing it up and kind of bending the paper a little bit, all right? Now this gets opened onto my table as well. And now I'm ready to get started. Gown goes on first, gloves go on after that. When I reach in, I can grab this gown pretty much anywhere, because what is gonna be showing to me is basically what ends up being the inside of the gown. So everything that you're looking at here is gonna be on the inside. It's going to be unsterile when you put it on. So you feel free to just grab this thing out of the wrapper however you need to. Once you get it up, you can see that there are little like uh, slots or tabs or whatever right here. Those little wings are gonna form the sleeves of this gown. So I take my hand, I put it right inside here and I curve my hand around that gown, which allows me to hold it. Next thing I do is open this gown up. My hands are still clenched like a fist. And when I'm ready, I open my hands out. When I do that, the gown is gonna drop down and where my arms are becomes sleeves. You just push your hands up like this and they'll go right down the sleeves. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm in, I grab, open. Now I'm gonna open up my hands and it falls down. Once it does, the place where my hands were are sleeves, so I can pull this down and I've got it on. Ideally in the OR, somebody would take this Velcro and fasten it around your neck so it's not trying to come off of you at this point. The key thing for you to remember is to keep your fingers inside of these cuffs so that everything out here is still sterile. All right, because now I'm gonna reach down and grab these gloves. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna grab the right one. And what I'm gonna do is take this thing and fold it to where the fingers are pointing towards me. All right, what that does um, is once I have it here, I'm gonna grab this cuff, pull it around, and now my hand will be on the inside of this glove right here. Let me show you what that looks like. So I've got this, again, just kind of resting here with my fingers inside the cuff. I'm gonna hold one part of this cuff. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this part of the cuff right here, I'm holding with my thumb that is still covered inside the gown. This part of the cuff, I'm grabbing with my other 
thumb and index finger still inside this gown and now I'm going to pull it around all right so here we are I'm pulling it around it's not kind of hanging off now but my hand if you can see is on the inside of this glove and now I just kind of work my fingers down again keeping this hand completely covered I can work those fingers to where they line up with the finger holes and I've got one glove on a little bit easier for the second one because again I've got this hand on one thing I forgot to mention before but obviously these gloves are um, side specific so there's a right and a left and when you're putting them on I'm telling you to put it here so the fingers are facing back towards you one thing that'll make it easier is the thumb when you see the thumb in this you want the thumb pointing down that'll help it line up a little bit better with your hand so again I'm gonna find this cuff I'm gonna grab it with that thumb I'm gonna take these fingers I'm grabbing this cuff right here and I'm pulling it around my hand like that so now again I've got that glove just kind of hanging off and then I can just pull the glove down if I need to I can pull the gown down to where the cuff pulls back on my wrist allowing my fingers to get down inside of here and now I'm ready again once I've got it on keep in mind sterile technique is pretty much anything from the neck to the waist is considered sterile um, anything below the waist is unsterile and anything behind you is unsterile all right so here we are hope that helps